Welcome. This video demonstrates setting up AC analysis and frequency response simulation in QSPICE. There are two requirements for a small signal AC analysis in QSPICE. The first requirement is an AC simulation command setup. The syntax for a QSPICE AC frequency domain simulation is found under command reference in QSPICE help. The second requirement for a QSPICE AC frequency domain analysis is an AC specification on the source. Syntax for voltage sources is found in QSPICE help under device reference. Notice how the AC specification is not inside of any specific voltage source. Here is the netlist line for the sine wave voltage source with the AC specification. Let's see how to set up these two AC simulation requirements in QSPICE. Under built in symbols, go to voltage sources. The labels are the same. They all say independent voltage source, but we can see at the bottom of the GUI what type of source each one is. We can also see the source type in symbol properties. Select the sine source. Drag the sine wave source into place in the schematic. Double click on the specification and type in 0 for DC value, 1 for amplitude, 1K for a frequency of 1 kHz, and for the small signal AC specification, type in AC equals 1. Return. Next, we'll add the AC analysis simulation command. We want to use the place text spice directive command which we can access with a right click. But instead, let's use the hotkey T. Click in the schematic, click T, click to place the statement on the schematic, double click and type in dot AC for small signal analysis, dec for decade, 50 for points per decade, 100 Hz starting frequency and 100 kHz end frequency. Check the netlist. We see the lines for both the AC source and the AC simulation command. Run the simulation. We get the frequency response simulation result that we expect. Phase is on the right hand axis and phase is the dashed red line. Notice how the sine source specification looks different here than in the original setup we saw, which had AC equals 1 on a separate line. We see AC equals 1 in the first attribute in symbol properties. The sine wave source is a time domain source. We can change the simulation type from small signal AC to a transient time domain simulation. Double click to modify the AC simulation command line. Place a pound sign at the beginning of the line to make it into a comment. Using Control C, the copy command, copy the AC statement and with Control V, paste it back in the schematic. Double click and change this to tran with dot tran and 20 milliseconds. Run the simulation. We get a transient plot of the AC time domain source voltage. The sine wave source is a time domain source. 
Small signal AC analysis does not require this time domain sine wave source. The small signal AC analysis can be done with a DC source. Let's try this. Delete the sine wave source. Go into voltage sources and pick the first one, DC source. Drag the DC source into the schematic. Give it a DC value of 1. Return. Then add a new attribute. Make it AC space 1, not AC equals 1. Let's put back our AC simulation command. Delete the transient analysis. Run the simulation. we get the same frequency response that we got before. The summary here is that QSPICE small signal AC analysis has two required pieces. First, the AC specification in the source, and second, the AC analysis simulation command. The small signal AC analysis does not require a time domain sine wave source. Some final points. Remember that SPICE AC analysis is small signal, calculated around a DC operating point. In the case of a nonlinear circuit, SPICE linearizes around the DC operating point for calculating the linear small signal AC analysis. For additional information about how SPICE AC analysis functions, here are two links to the website eCircuit Center. I'll also put these links in the notes text. Thank you for watching and learning with us.